college, the biggest transitionary period for any student. It's a time for exploration, a time for discovery, a time for learning. College is the first time where you can choose what you want to do. You want to go on a hike? Go for it. You want to stay up late watching Netflix? You do you. You want to take complicated math courses? I, I mean, more power to you. No one is there to tell you what is or isn't required. And I know for me that was a very new and foreign concept. Hello, my name is Ryan Regal, founder of the Bonner Leader Web Design Initiative, and trying to find my place at Suwannee was no easy task. Spending my high school years in a small town of Merville, Tennessee, I was always used to having others tell me what's required, especially my involvement in service. I enjoyed assisting others that needed it, just knowing that I was able to make a difference in their lives was very fulfilling for me. However, being a mere high school student in a small town, there was not much room for me to carve out my own service path. While I enjoyed helping others, I never really found a project I was passionate about doing. I knew there were many, many ways to help people. I just needed to find my own path. Fast forward to my senior year when I had heard about the Bonner program at Sewanee. Just from reading it, I knew it was exactly what I was looking for. A chance to be more than a volunteer, I would have the chance to be a leader. Someone who not only works for a program, but one who creates and directs the program. I immediately applied, and uh, spoiler alert, I got in. I now had the opportunity to choose the services I wanted to do. There was only one issue with my newly found freedom of choice. I had absolutely no idea what those were. Would I be interested in assisting students with the college admissions process? Or what about empowering the younger generation so they can be the change they want to see in the world? Well, there was only one way for me to find out try them all. So my freshman year, I went everywhere. And yet, I still could not find anything that I was incredibly passionate about. If I wanted to get a meaningful experience from this program, I you need to discover what I got energized about, or else it would be a long four years. That summer, I got into web development. Creating websites was always something that fascinated me. It seems so cool to write some code and be able to create something amazing before your eyes. I just never really had time to learn it. So after talking to our school's database administrator, David Seiler, I was set with my own partition on the school server and given an introductory book on web programming. During my free time, I would create small applications that didn't do too much, but through my continuous efforts, those small apps eventually developed into my first ever website. It was that summer that officially started my passion in computer science. And finally, I knew what I was passionate about. I just needed to figure out how to incorporate into my Bonner work. It was time for me to be more than another volunteer. It was time to me to forge my own path. Starting the web design project was not an easy task. I knew that the overall goal of the web design project was to provide community organizations with a simple, easy to use website where they could broadcast their mission values without having to worry about the technical background. I just had no idea where to begin. To make matters even worse, I was the only person doing it. So it was all up to me initially to shape and direct the program. And this involved everything from reaching out to community organizations to work for, to recruiting volunteers. And it was... Quite a bit of work, uh, more than I ever could have imagined, but through the help of every single person in the outreach office, and through my own determination, this program has continued to thrive and has managed to help many different organizations. I was determined to see it through. Just seeing how my program helped people and how excited they got whenever I showed them what I was able to create made everything worth it. I found my passion, and I was able to incorporate it into my daily work, and suddenly community service was no longer seen as work for me. It was something that I got excited about, something that I looked forward to doing. I finally knew what that felt like, and it was truly an amazing feeling. College, a time for exploration and discovery. A place that was once so intimidating to me has become my home away from home. 
And now that I have completely adjusted the life here, I'm beginning to transition to the next stage of my life. To the unknown real world. And as I make preparations for the day I depart this campus, I can leave it with confidence, knowing that no matter where my life will take me, I will always find a way to make my work my passion. <laughs>